Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your May 2016 tarot reading. I want to start off the reading by wishing you all a very wonderful happy birthday uh, for this month. Um, one of the things I'm picking up for you, first message here, is that um, I do feel there is some, um, I feel like you're feeling, you know, love and appreciation and, and things like that. But you're not really verbalizing what you're feeling to other people, people that need to hear it or people that need it to um, to take the message. OK, so, for example, you, you might like somebody, but I feel that for some reason you're not verbalizing, you know, how you feel about them. And then they're they're getting confusing mixed messages from you. And likewise, you to another person. And I do feel that a lot of it is it's kind of like a, a mirroring effect where you you get like tongue tied around them and they feel a little bit awkward around you or vice versa and as a result the communication that's coming through is not truthful and it's not meaningful so whatever it is that you're feeling try to verbalize it or at least you know try to uh, find a way to express it because <clears throat> We're approaching, you know, the sun in your constellation. So whatever you need to do, whatever you you want to achieve, you are divinely supported. Okay, you have a lot of momentum going into your uh, constellation, which basically brings a lot of ambition, drive, and passion. And I know that we have um, Venus and uh, not Venus, excuse me, Mars and uh, Mercury in retrograde. But I do feel that whatever needs to be said needs to be said thoroughly, needs to be thoroughly explained so that you can get the outcome that you want or so that you can get the other person to understand you. So during this time, it is best to over explain, okay, rather than leaving things unsaid. Explain, explain over and over again until the other person understands where you're coming from. I feel like that's just a safe bet for all Mercury and retrograde uh, time frames. What I'm also sensing is um, there is a person in your life um, that you you have a very very strong emotional connection with and um, I do feel that they're being distant with you. you you have like a very strong emotional rapport you can tell them everything you've been through thick and thin together you feel like you want to reach out to them but they seem a little bit distant they're dealing with their own things so it's best for you to try to um, understand that as well okay so that might be the person where the communication is a little bit shaky if that's the case I don't feel that um, I don't feel that there's another per person in the in the picture I just feel as if they're trying to figure some things out on their own and they will return to you and they will come back and they will communicate with you um, based, you know, based on whatever it is that they, they've concluded. But I do feel they need some space around this time, all right? Um, in terms of the home environment, um, be very careful about if you're like hiring contractors to repair things in the house, be very, very careful about loose electrical wiring about like uh, loose floorboards and things like that. Um, if you're getting repairs for those things, if it's not anything urgent, try to wait until the end of the month when the Mercury retrograde period is over because I feel like something is needs to be repaired on the home front, but you're not getting like uh, solid estimates, okay? You're not getting solid, good estimates here. So that's what I'm, I'm feeling for a lot of you. And... Um, let me see if there's anything else coming through. So overall, Mercury in retrograde communication will be a little bit problematic. So once again, try to explain yourself comprehensively and thoroughly. And I do feel that when it comes to love messages and, you know, communication from a significant person or somebody that, um, somebody that you have your eyes on, it's a little bit, I, I feel like stop, go, stop, go type of energy. So I know it's frustrating, let it play out. And especially for those of you who are newly dating, the dating front is going to be a little bit frustrating because of it, because of the communication, because of people not knowing, acting as if they don't really know what they want. So the energy you encounter might be just that, you know, you, you know what you want and you know what your heart desire or whom it is that your heart desires. But the person, the object of your desire, they might not know exactly what they want. And that can be a little bit frustrating. So just um, hang in there, okay, Taurus? Let's see your spiritual advice. And one last card. Okay. 
All right, so let's go into this reading. Um, we have some good cards, actually. So the first thing that we have out here is the Empress and the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups, let's talk about that first, because this seems to me like residual energy coming in from last month, okay? The Five of Cups is a situation where we are mourning the loss of something in our lives. This is a card about regrets. There's a little bit of um, disappointment. What I'm feeling is a little bit of shame for some reason. Uh, letting a good thing go or, you know, not taking value, not putting, um, I guess, like not seeing the true value in a person, and not spending enough time with a person and now they're no longer in your life. I feel that a lot of you are dealing with this situation that might have come in from the previous months where somebody in your life, a very, very significant person that really did a lot to help you or that really took care of you. And, and um, I feel that you might have taken them for granted or there might be a situation where they're ta they have taken you for granted. As a result of it, you can no longer stay in this situation where you feel... Um, you feel taken advantage of or you feel taken for granted or you feel underappreciated, okay? Unappreciated or underappreciated. As a result of it, you're moving forward and you're advancing into something new. And I do sense for a lot of you, whatever situation this is that you have to contend with, I feel that it, it had to happen mainly because they, the universe wanted to show you that, you know, Taurus, be very strong in your own sense of self-worth. Know what you have to offer other people. Even though you don't feel that, you know, it's being reciprocated or it's being mirrored back at you, then you know you're in the wrong relationship. So this is basically like one of those, um, you know, uh, stumbling blocks or one of those major milestones in life where we have to realize I am better than this relationship or this uh, situation that I'm in. So I need to find something that is more in alignment with my self-worth. So it's putting you in this situation so that you can overcome it and that you can like redefine and stand firm in what it is that you feel you deserve and how it, how you want other people to treat you. So this is basically coming to the point where, yes, other people have disappointed you, but at the same time, you are starting to see their true color and you're starting to realize that maybe, maybe I just need to, you know, find people who are better for me, okay? For a lot of you, um, the, the Empress, it, there's a Venus sign here and Venus is the ruler of Taurus as well. So I do feel there is a very, very strong sense of um, coming into a place of um, self-confidence, knowing your own self-worth and not settling, okay? Both of these cards indicate to me a lot of you had to walk away from a situation. It was difficult to walk away from, but I feel that it was hurting your self-esteem and it wasn't good for you. Like emotionally, it just wasn't good for you. You you were either, if it's a job, you were either under value, underpaid, or just unappreciated. They did not use, um, utilize your skills or they didn't appreciate all the skills and the, the assets that you have to offer them. So which just takes us to the next batch of cards. We do have the hangman as well as the eight of cups. So this is a situation where you're mourning and I feel that by the second week of this month, you're pretty much going to be emotionally checked out of it and moving forward, okay? Um, there is a little bit of contemplation here with the hangman, whether or not you want to be in it. I feel like it's, it's like a 50-50 for a lot of you who are dealing with this type of a situation. Um, you could be in a position where you are contemplating, should I move away from this? What should I do? Um, I know there's a lot of good things out there for me and I need to go find it. But at the same time, you are an earth sign. You're very methodical and you're very calculating and you make these very, very rational decisions before you implement any type of a major move. So I feel for a lot of you, you might have like um, started walking away, emotionally checking out or at least, you know, contemplating to yourself, setting a timeline for yourself. I'm going to walk away by the 15th or by, um, you know, uh, June, July, you're setting a time frame for yourself as to what needs to happen by a certain time frame in order for you to to leave this situation. A lot of you are still contemplating whether or not you want to fix it or you want to leave, but I feel majority of you or at least, you know, half of you overwhelmingly half emotionally checked out. So the next step to me, it seems, is that you have to physically um, remove yourself from this situation and then gradually mentally remove yourself from it where you're not thinking about it anymore okay when it comes to like um 
movement, whether you're changing homes, properties, and things like that, I do feel there is going to be a delay regarding the sales or the physical movement away from one property to the next. Uh, selling one property so that you can move on to the next place, for example, you might have like uh, you might be in a situation where the buyers that are coming in, they're trying to get you to reduce the price. And I feel that you can only reduce it so much. So don't um, don't don't be so anxious about selling proper selling your property that you're lowballing yourself. OK, so they might want you to, I guess, like um, reduce the price. And you might be desperate just to sell it. I do feel you want to hold out just a little bit because the advice here is basically holding out. Don't be too quick to walk away. Hold out on the situation. Do multiple rounds of uh, negotiations before you can um, make some so sort of a solid um, decision as to you know what, how you want to settle it or at what price you want to settle it. Okay. Um, the next cluster deals with your emotional state. So I do have the King of Wands as well as the Queen of Cups. So a lot of you might be somehow linked up with either a fire sign. So I feel like this is more for you women, fire sign. But, you know, it's not gender specific exactly. I just feel it strongly for... Um, so let's just say if you're linked up with a fire sign, you have a uh, Sagittarius, Aries or um, Leo. This is Sun, Moon or Rising. I do feel there is somebody in your life that is sparking your passion, okay? That That is igniting some type of a, a very strong uh, chemistry within you and a very strong, like they have a very um, somewhat of an aggressive energy, not in a bad way, but they're very directed, very straightforward, very clear about what it is that they want. So I do feel that for a lot of you, you might be dealing with a fire sign either in an interpersonal relationship or a romantic relationship. But I do sense that... Um, this person is igniting some feelings in you and you feel quite um, smitten by them. And I do feel what you wanting to take the relationship possibly to the next level. I honestly feel that a lot of you are in a relationship that's not bringing you a lot of uh, happiness anymore. And you are either tempted by somebody outside of the relationship, I feel. Um, I don't feel you're going to do anything against your moral judgment. I don't feel that you're going to go against your moral compass. But what I do sense is that you're looking at your external environment and you're looking potentially at other friends, other couples that have a very, very strong like relationship dynamic and you're envying what they have. And I don't feel that, you know, like you, you admire the emotional and intellectual rapport they have with with. Um, one another and you wish your relationship was like that and I do feel that as a result of interacting with other people other couples you might realize what your relationship is lacking so that you can fix them or you can you know bring whatever element that you're needing in a relationship back into your relationship in the process of dealing with other um, couples you're starting to realize what they have is something that you want so you're incorporating that into your own personal relationship and you're trying to you know make sure that things are working out that way but either way I feel like the month is bringing about a lot of self-awareness a lot of uh, inner knowledge coming through that you can no longer deny about your needs your desires your wants and you can't really uh, sweep them under the rug anymore you you are starting to feel that there are elements in your life that have been making you like not like you haven't been satisfied and I feel like in the past it was just you know work home work and home and for some reason I feel like this month a lot of things are coming up to um for re-examination and I feel that you you realize you have to take some change make some changes in your own life so that you can create the love relationship that you want okay for those of you who are dealing with a water sign this is um a Pisces Cancer Scorpio this is somebody that is um highly highly emotionally like um loving giving and they're just a, a really all around very good sweet person they have a very gentle delicate heart they're not passive they're not aggressive they're not passive um i'm sorry they're not aggressive they're a little bit like um non-confrontational so they avoid conflict okay um what i'm feeling is that for those of you who are involved with a water sign, okay, I do sense that um, this is somebody who is 
what I'm feeling is this. This is somebody that you are emotionally very, very attracted to. The relationship with them or whenever you're around them, they make you feel like at home. They make you feel very, very comfortable. And I feel for a lot of you, and this is just a message, um, especially if you're dating women who are of a water sign, I feel like it's really important for you to not take your partner for granted, okay? Um, I do sense that if you have somebody like this, male or female, in your life in the past, in any type of an interpersonal relationship, they put up with a lot of stuff. And they're very delicate and they're not they're they're not aggressive either. So whenever they get angry, they pretty much withdraw. And I feel there is a withdrawal uh, situation here where they've given and given and given of their themselves and they don't they're depleted, you know, they don't have much more to give. So if it's somebody in your past that you've been dealing with and you feel like you might have taken them uh, for granted, you might have like um not giving them enough attention or enough love or enough affection. I do feel there's some energy coming through for this month where, you know, you, you might be dealing with the regrets or you might be dealing with um, this situation where somebody really loved you unconditionally, but you weren't happy and um, you tried your best, but, you know, it, it just didn't work out. What I'm also feeling is this is like the, the month in which you have to incorporate the yin and yang energy adequately, okay? On the one hand, um, I feel like there is an inner conflict playing out within for a lot of you. And uh, for a lot of you, on the one hand, you want a relationship that is physically exciting, that is like sexually charged. On the other hand, you want an emotionally nurturing partner. So trying to balance out this yin and yang energy within you, like do you want just a physical relationship or do you want a long-term relationship? And being very clear about what it is that you want, I feel that that's going to help you manifest the right person, the right partner that is appropriate for you based on what it is that you want. So being very clear about that and not flip-flopping back and forth. I do feel for a lot of you, you might be caught in the center of some, you know, three some type of love attraction where one person fulfills you physically the other person fulfills you emotionally and when you're with one you miss the other and you know likewise so it seems to me as if you want to decide on what it is that you want and for example if you want a amalgamation of both people I just want you to know that somebody like that does exist out there yes it is hard to find but once we set our intentions and we, we start to try to manifest the right things or the right people into our lives, they usually will come into our lives, okay? So try to figure out what is important to me. Do I want just a physical relationship or do I want a long-term emotionally, you know, uh, fulfilling partnership? So figuring that out would be pretty much a, a good step and a good direction for you to head towards, okay? Um in terms of your financial situation, um, I definitely feel some type of repairs needing to happen in the home front. We have the Ten of Pentacles as well as the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles indicates to me generational wealth and situation coming through. That is like, this is like investment opportunities. This is like um, um, things that you've inherited, things that are passed down through the family. But it's also indicative of things that are built up long term as well. So you might have been spending a lot of time just building up your empire. And I do feel like, you know, you, you have achieved that. We're at a 10. So the next phase is you're trying to find ways to either find more emotional fulfillment out, out uh, to get more emotional fulfillment from your life or out of your life. And you might be contemplating travel. You might be contemplating buying a new property. And like I mentioned or you, um, earlier when I, I mentioned with the house situation, I feel that, you know, getting rid of minimizing, downsizing is a really good thing to do for this month, okay? Getting back to the root, the rudimentary of what is important in life. It's not, you know, having three, four or five property that you never use. It's actually wasteful. You feel, I feel like you have to get back to the, the, the roots of what is, what is bringing me emotional happiness, okay? It's not about the house or the cars or the big garage or whatever it is that you feel you need. It's more about the connections and, and you know, having the love and the stability and the 
support of those who are close to you, who understand you, where you don't have to over explain yourself, where you don't even have to defend yourself. So I feel like that's the situation here. In terms of your finances, please, please be careful and um, keep a close rein when it comes to like hiring contractors around the house. Or making, if you're making investment opportunities, I would say wait until the end of the week, uh, the end of the month, in order to make any major, major um, life-changing decisions when it concerns money. Okay. Um, on the other hand, I honestly feel that for a lot of you, there might be like an addition to the family. We do have the Empress here, and the Empress usually indicates pregnancy, uh, um, along with the Ten of Pentacles, which indicates like a family card. So I do feel possibly an addition to the family, somebody being added to the family, which is usually indicative of birth or taking on an elderly parent, an elderly figure caring for them. So somebody, some something is being added within the family unit, and uh, as a result of it, you might have to do some minor rebalancing of the budget so that's what I'm feeling as well and I feel like you have to do some minor readjustment to your budget and it's going to be something that is um, that needs to be done now and it needs to be carried out long term okay so if somebody is coming into the picture either an elderly mother elderly aunt uncle father figure or elderly grandparents or something like that I feel there is an, a new addition to the family and I do feel for a lot of you it might be a male like I'm sensing a male figure coming through like a father figure okay possibly from the um, wife side of the family for those of you who are married or I feel like it's um it's the, a father figure for a lot of you so in terms of your advice here the financial situation, they don't want you to worry about it, okay? So these are your advice cards. We have the Strength card, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So let's talk about you first. This is your card here, whether you are a male or female. You are going to be on top. You're going to be shiny. Your financial situation is going to be completely stable. So it's telling you basically don't worry about it. Everything will work out and um, you will be on top again so this minor juggling act that you're doing I do feel that it is going to be um, balanced out by the end of the month and you're going to get um, some type of peace of mind when it comes to your financial situation okay uh, what I'm also feeling as well with the strength card in the eight of pentacles the strength card is a card about um, having patience and waiting just a little bit longer and it's also a card about taking risk okay so earlier when I mentioned that um, you feel a certain way and it doesn't have to be like love or whatever you, there is something that is happening around you and you have a very strong feeling about it either you like it or you don't and I do feel that the the important thing is verbalize what it is that you're feeling it's like prying the answers from the the lion's mouth so don't be afraid to verbalize what it is that you need to um, to say about how you feel about something transpiring in your life how you feel about a person whatever it is that you feel you need um, an outlet you need to get it out there so that you're not ending up stuck so I feel like it's just really important for you to, to do that, okay? I do sense as well that um, when it comes to, if you're dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, they might have a tendency to like talk big and they might be a little bit aggressive with their speech. The advice is to be patient and to not um, take what they say to heart. So if you're f dealing with like father figure, for example, and um, in the past, they're like, you know, the, the, the epitome of, t uh, of toughness and, you know, that, that tough father figure, like the stern father figure. Um, just don't take it to heart. And I know it's hard when we deal with our parents. They, they, um, they know how to push our buttons. There are many, many trigger topics when it concerns family members. But I do feel taking it with a sense of humor and a grain of salt would be go further for you. Okay? So... The Eight of Pentacles here as well is a card about working diligently to expand something, to create something, to build something up. It might seem a little bit monotonous, but I do feel you're pretty much at the last 
leg of the journey. So it's not going to be, I feel like a lot of you are wrapping up some type of projects. So it's telling me whatever project you're working on, don't abandon it. You're, you're almost there. It is going to pay off, off handsomely. Okay. So try not to abandon any projects. Just keep at it, work diligently, and you will be on top and you will get the, the, the fame and the fortune associated with it. Okay. So overall, pretty good reading, um, Taurus. I do wish you all the best for this month. Let's go into your love reading and see what's going on for you. going to put this back because it just didn't feel like it was meant okay to be in the reading so you're getting the king of uh, wands and the uh, page of cups the water sign the fire sign again okay so they're deciding to give you a lot of cards okay I'm just gonna go over this because they decided to fall out Okay, so what I'm seeing here is we have two two different elements, and then we have the um, the sneaking around card. So you know I'm going to state the obvious here. So a lot of you are in a situation where you are involved with somebody, possibly a fire sign, and there is somebody in your life that you have your eyes on, a water sign. Okay, so if you're in and and vice versa, if you're with um, I feel like one person is older. One person is younger, so it can go both ways. But I feel like you are kind of like romantically linked up with a person, fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And then there's a new love verging on the horizon for you, somebody that you, you like, somebody that you get along with, you have a very strong emotional connection with. And it's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And um, you're at a point, I don't feel that you want to step out of the relationship and you know, you're, you're, I don't feel that you're doing anything inappropriate. So for those of you dealing with that situation, decide on whatever it is that you want, okay? Decide on what's worth keeping because I feel like you have invested a lot of time with the fire sign, it seems. If it's not working out, you will know if it's not working out because I feel like your energy might be clashing with one another you might not have the same interests you might not express love and affection the same way I do feel the relationship itself is very balanced because we do have the justice card as well for others of you you might be contemplating you might be emerging from like a, a divorce situation a separation situation and while you're still you know um legally married to the other person you're not like divorced just yet you might encounter a new energy possibly a water sign where you you feel like this is a, a soulmate connection, you know, with the two of cups here. You feel as if this is the person that is meant for me, but I don't want to like cross the line because I'm still in a relationship. So there is definitely temptation and the cards are advising as well. You're in a no win situation where winning is at the dishonor of something else. It's at the expense of something else. So be very, very careful about what it is that you're doing and what it is that you're hoping to achieve because I feel like there might be some, there's temptation here with the seven of swords. There's also dishonor as well. So, you know, try not to do anything in that regard. Okay. What I'm also feeling is for those of you who are single and looking, who are single and looking, um, you have some uh, quite a few suitors coming your way, okay? There is potentially an, a person that you had your eyes on that you never were um, that you were not romantically involved with. They're coming back into your life as well as a new person that you have your eyes on. So it can be a fire sign or water sign in whatever combination that is for you. But I feel like you have a very strong soul connection with one person. And I do feel that it might be the new person. You're getting the emotional fulfillment that you're needing from the new person. So even though the past person is coming back in, it would not be in your best interest to re-engage with them 
in a re relationship because I feel like the new thing is what's going to bring you a lot of emotional stability and it's also going to bring you a lot of um, balance in that relationship okay so we do have for you singles a lot of opportunities to date here for you married um, people who are who are in stable relationships try to overcome temptation try to overcome you know tr um, try to aim for the right path for the right decisions and honestly I feel like for if you're like in a stable relationship you're with your soulmate you're with the person that brings you a lot of contentment and joy and there's also a very strong emotional intellectual and a physical connection here you both are alike in many many ways and as a result of it try to fight for this relationship you know invest time in your partner um, this is like taking this is a card about taking a break but sometimes it's about re-engaging in conflict or re-engaging to to fight for the relationship okay if somebody is like if you feel somebody's trying to get between you and your significant other try to talk to your significant other and don't let the situation the jealousy hostility resentment but mainly the the jealousy don't let that drive you apart rather you know use that as a launching pad for some type of uh, truthful communication or conversation so that you can f um, tell your partner or you can make sure that your partner understands that you want to be with them and you're willing to work at the situation and to work at these problems so I feel for a lot of you um, especially I feel like for women, if you're, you know, you're a Taurus, Taurian woman watching this, I feel like there might be some um, suspicions about your significant other stepping out on a relationship. If that's the case, have a conversation. I feel that there is definitely temptation, but I do see that they might be blown out of proportion. So you want to have a conversation early on and, you know, put the rumors to rest, okay? So Taurus, I do wish you all the best. I do feel that um, for those of you who are single and looking, the foundation here is that I feel the person that's right for you is already in your life. So you want to work at the relationships or you want to cultivate those dating relationships, okay? I do wish you all the best. Take care of yourself and um, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. And once again, Enjoy your birthday time, all right? Don't um, drink too much and be careful when driving. Take care. Bye-bye.